Hello, Dom here. I am CEO and product manager at Chuff Solutions. Today, I am going on a little adventure to go get an M1 Mac Mini. So, at the moment, uh, I am rocking an old PC. It was actually an old CAD PC, probably about seven, eight years old. And it's done me well. Um, you can go back and look at my previous streams. It's been all right. Um, but uh, in getting my new laptop, uh, Dell XPS 13, I learned that I, I kind of got had the impression of how slow it actually was. So that's the thing. Now, um, from that, why am I going with a Mac Committee? Uh, that's because my clients are asking for development on iOS and that can only happen on a Mac. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, I probably will keep my PC in place for now. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, have the Mac Mini there to do the main part, part of my development, but also mainly do my streams and things like that. But first of all, I need to get to Brent Cross. very busy in there uh, very busy indeed as per usual in the, in an Apple store uh, Brent Cross in general actually a few more people here than normal so that's the thing but I did get my Mac mini hurrah um, I got the 512 gig version um, but it's got the M1 chip in it I thought you know let's go with the with the, uh, the Apple silicon for this one um, but yeah, overall, uh, this is going to be my main development and streaming machine. So all that's left to do is to go home and set this up. See you then. And after some food, having a little nap and the sun going down, uh, ready to set this thing up. Let's start off with a little unboxing. Right, the new... Mac Mini. Let's uh, get this open. I imagine there's not too much to this. Um, what have I got to, to get through this? Aha, a spudger. Oh, a little mark in the box there as well. go so we've got the Mac Mini let's take this out there we go and on the back we've got another thing let's take that off so two Thunderbolt uh, HDMI Ethernet power USB headphones ah. and then there's a vent under there as well um, this used to actually be the access but I think it's actually just one piece now because uh, how dare you want to upgrade it right and we've got the power cable and that is it that is our lot uh, we have some documentation um, and that's about it. And an Apple sticker. Are these things getting bigger? I'm not sure. Anywho, that is that. So, this is actually an upgrade from a 2012 uh, Mac Mini uh, that I have installed. Uh, it's slow, it's tired, and my monitor is 1440p. Uh, which that Mac doesn't actually support, um, which makes it look crap, quite frankly. So uh, not only did I want some more power, um, but you know, have a proper output, and then 12 years for a machine, 
you know, well, 10 years for a machine. The two machines I'm using, <laughs> one's 10 years old, one's eight years old. Definitely time for an upgrade. So let's go get that one. So under the desk, we can see all this stuff now. I've got the old Mac mini here. This is my KVM switch. All of my stuff goes inside there um, so that I can switch between them super easily. And also all my devices can also swap with them as well. So my camera, my mouse, my keyboard, uh, my microphone and all that lot. Now, is this the same size as the new one? That's the question. Uh, I am going to unplug these. The ports are definitely in the wrong, in a different place. But this should hopefully slide out like so. Uh, let's do a comparison. All right, so having a look at these, they are, they seem to be the same size and the same height. So let's try and get this new one in. Right, here we go. Nice, awesome stuff. So I'm gonna actually tap down these cables, which uh, sometimes you thank yourself for the uh, laziness you had previously. Thankfully only two USB slots, only two USB cables here and they've only got two slots. Although one of them is for this guitar in uh, audio interface. Uh, let's get our HDMI in. And that is everything in. So let's hit the power button. Cool, let's get set up. Okay, switched over my KVM. So keyboard and mouse should be working. And there we go. English UK, please. Okay, cool. Well, I think this stuff's probably gonna be a little bit boring. After a bus ride, a lack of patience with my old machines not cutting the mustards, and 900 pounds. Here we are, ready to go. Well, not quite. I do need to set up everything. The first thing I'm gonna install though is OBS, and I'm gonna stream, setting up my development environment, maybe even setting up my entire OBS streaming setup. Um, but that video will be in my channel, so probably go check it out because there's going to be me doing things, possibly some swearing, that happens. Uh, but either way, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe and a like as well. And yeah, see you in the next stream.